My name is June Tracy. Um, Nan Dalton's been home since since I could remember. I always think about when I think about nature. I always think it's nice to be out. It's nice to sit on the bank and listen to the waves or see the birds and the, you know it. It's there. Why should we take it for granted? Sometimes we don't pay attention to it enough nowadays. Everything has a purpose. If you get an animal, you treat it with respect. You say thank you to that animal for providing for you to survive. So you take it and you, you don't just leave the guts or stuff laying around. You take it and put it under a tree or wherever. Come back to your roots. Reconnect with the land. Reconnect with what's to offer out here. In Yupik culture, we have a form of Yupik dance Yupik composers, they don't take ownership of the songs that they compose. They credit that those are those are those songs come and they're channeled through them from nature and from um, their connection to their um, uh, their own identity and how to connect with their with the roots. It's like no wind. This is your song. And so by doing that, it's like taking that ego out. I've always been uh, a Chupik uh, dancer. Dancing is part of our life that can bring wellness um, into our lives, that can uh, restore who we are as Native people. say that when we're out on the ocean or when we're in the woods, that's our church. That's how we, we connect with who we are as, as, as spiritual people. Um, because you can really feel, um, you can feel everything around you. And I would say that, you know, that connection, that understanding that for 10,000 years, my ancestors have touched the same ocean. Uh, for 10,000 years, my ancestors have touched the same forest and some of those trees are still there today. That is, that is so huge to us to understand that and to understand that our ancestor spirit is just intertwined in that environment and in that world around us. We have to treat the environment almost like it's another human being. I think that that's kind of like, um, maybe how, 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 in one way how it is, it's like we, we see it as something something we want to honor, like an elder, or like a child, or like anybody, like a person, or like a reflection of ourselves. Yupik spirituality is, is just, it's just a sense of awareness and this idea of just being a good human being. How can you be, a, be the best human being you can be? Everything we did and everything that we practiced was so interwoven with the environment around us that by protecting native values, you're protecting an entire ecosystem and not one species.
we were survivors. We survived the elements. Our voice will be heard again. We are strong people. That's my hometown People came here a while back To pull some shit out of the ground Well, and oil and copper and gold Is what they found They made us a state in 58 As long as we spread that wealth around So now we got some oil company boys we got some teamsters, we used to have Russians They cut us a check every year so we don't complain about nothing 